at 100 Huntley Street here as we draw close to our 10,000th program. We're focusing this month on 10,000 reasons to love. A great choice for February, a great choice every day. And a beautiful choice to lead the charge is best-selling author Stormy O'Martian with her new book, Choose to Love, the three simple choices that will alter your life. And I hope you've been with us. Life begins with opening your heart to the Lord of life. Mm -hmm. Stormy, in your book, you say, Jesus saves you from much too much. Yes. And I, I want to catch people up. We, we've talked a little about the struggles that both you and your husband of 40 years mm -hmm. had. Uh, surprising to hear that Michael, too, really battled with a lack of self-worth. Oh, yes. Such negative feelings about himself. Yes. Well, he was dys dyslexic, and back then no one understood what that was, or and they, they thought he was just being rebellious, and he wasn't trying in school, and and you know, and he was a musician that makes him a little odd in as <laughs> well, you know, in people's minds back well, then. Catch us up on this odd musician and uh, <laughs> where he is today. Well, they, uh, well, he's come a long way just as I have, you know, and it, and it helps to know. My daughter um, was born dyslexic as well, and they have a brilliant side, and they have a side that struggles to learn the way that everybody else learns. They need to learn in a different way. They're really brilliant but they learn in a different way other than what they're taught in school. And so um, it make, makes school a struggle for them mm -hmm. and they feel like a failure. And so it really helped us to understand my husband going through it with her, you know, and they, they're brilliant. They have a brilliant side. Well, Michael has been a, a renowned music producer for for decades. Yeah, for decades, yeah. And right. thrilling to hear he's working on a project, 40 he, years yes. of CCM, uh -huh. Contemporary Christian Music. Yes. Some of the people, you know, where are they now? The Imperials, Sandy Patty, yes. I think Evie, Evie yes. is going to oh, be Evie, yes, part of this. Exactly, yes, and some of the, um, you know, Emmy Grant and, and Michael W. Smith. Michael and, W. Smith, yes, there's so many. There's 44 artists, that's why I can't remember them all, but uh, they're all just wonderful people. And so anyway, they're filming it this month. And and it's going to be out in a DVD so people can see all of these artists and have to watch yeah, it's, oh it's going to be so fun yes. I just thought it. we couldn't we couldn't leave him back there with yes. that struggling persona yes thank you God saved him from much yes too, too much, much. Yes. and part of that much is your second point we yes. need to choose to show Love the to, love of God to, yeah, to demonstrate to, to, to show love back to God and um, that's the second point to be able to worship God and thank God and, and praise him no matter what is happening in your life knowing that God loves you and he's not going to leave you just hanging out to dry he's, he's got a purpose for your life and even if you're going through tough times or you're in a dark place his love is still there for you always and to be able to trust that saying thinking and saying to yourself god loves me he he has good for my life he has given me a future and a hope i am not uh, desolate or or um, hopeless or or a failure god has great things for me and to understand that and then when you do understand that and receive the love of god you can express your love to god that's the second step because it's such a powerful step because when you express your love to God, he pours his love into you. So that's the way you, you, the love of God increases in you is by showing love to him. And I really believe that you cannot show love to other people in the way God wants us to until you first understand how to show love to him. To now God. I'm very interested in how this worked itself out mm -hmm. in your life because uh, talk about top of the heap. Uh, these are just some of the highlights of the career you had when you wanted to end your life. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Dean Martin Show, Glenn Campbell, Mac Davis, The Smothers Brothers, Comedy Hour. How many remember that great show? Um, you sang back up for, for uh, Glenn Campbell, Neil Diamond, Ray Charles, The Imperials. Um, now you're a, a daughter of the king. Mm -hmm. you're, you're having God do this marvelous work in your heart. How did you begin to demonstrate this love and give it back to God? 
Well, that was the thing I learned above all things, I think, really, uh, you know, other than how to pray, which is communicating with God, that's part of how you show your love to Him, is to worship Him because it's a powerful, freeing thing to do because it's, it's not because God is feeling insecure and needs to hear reinforcement. It's not <laughs> that. It's for us. He, he, we are freed from ourselves when we worship Him. And we need to be free from ourselves. Sometimes we get so self-focused and so concerned with the, the daily aspects of our life. But when we worship God, it's like a funnel. I explain this as like a funnel. A funnel is where you, uh, is, is something where you pour uh, something greater into something smaller. Mm -hmm. So when you lift up your heart like this or your hands like this or whatever to God, he pours himself into you. He pours his love and his peace and his joy and all, all that he is, he pours into you. And, and that increases his love in your heart. That's one of the ways he increases the knowledge of his love in our hearts. The, the scripture says God inhabits yes, our that's praises. Exactly it. Mm -hmm. and just what you're illustrating, that when we open ourselves up to Him, when we lift yes. our countenance and our hearts yes, in yes. thanksgiving and praise to Him, yes. we experience, and that is the word you yes. use, we experience more of God. God exactly. And when God's presence overtakes us, he just does what's needed. Yes, exactly. Whether it's physical, emotional. Yes, uh, right. And our outlook. We don't have to have it all figured out ourselves. No. He has it figured out. And we just have to open up to him, let him pour himself into us. And, and, and he will do what needs to be done in our lives. He will begin to change us from the inside out. And he increases our capacity to love others when, when he does, when he pours himself, his love into us. Because God is love. That's who, that's who he is. It's the essence of who he is. And so pouring his spirit into us as we worship him changes us and enables us to love others. And we really can't love others in the way God wants us to with just our own human love. We just don't have it. Some are afraid tired. of that Holy Spirit, though. Yes, yeah, so I know. And that's, and that's just a natural. It's God. It's God. It's his spirit. And I know there's been so many weird things done in the name of the Holy Spirit, so people don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> but it's, you can't n not talk about it. Jesus gives us the Holy Spirit when we receive him. And he says, if you don't have the spirit of Christ in you, you're not his. That's what it says in Romans 8, 9, I think. And if we're not His, if we don't have the Spirit of Christ in us, and we're not His, and that's what He says. So receive the Lord. He gives you His Spirit. I'm not talking about specific manifestations or outpourings or anything like that. I'm just talking about you have the Spirit in you if you've received Christ, or else you're not His. And and so... You it, use a term in the book, full godliness. Yes. F-A-U-X. Yes, exactly. And we don't want that. We want the real thing. And that's how Jesus never leaves us or forsakes us, because he, he leaves us his spirit. And, and, you know, God is in heaven. Jesus is at the right hand. Jesus is not here in person on earth, but his spirit is. His spirit is. And it, he lives in us. And that's how he enables us to love people, to have joy that we couldn't have possibly without him, uh, to, to have guidance, you know, to have help, and all of these things that the Spirit, the Spirit of God does in us. The Spirit of God, Spirit of Christ this is the same. Same, only one Spirit, you know, one God, three different manifestations of him. And yeah. you point out we really need to know. We need to know all these three. things. Yeah, I mean, we need to know all three. Understand who God is. Yes, you're missing a piece if you don't have all three. And I think a lot of people just think, well, the Holy Spirit does these manifestations and I don't want that or I don't want any outpouring or anything like that. This is just simple truth. You receive the Jesus and he gives us the Spirit. He, the Spirit. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit, it says in, in the Word. And so that's where the Spirit lives. That's how he never leaves us or forsakes us. Stormy, you made all the right choices. Well. You made significant right choices in getting involved in a church, yes. in getting into God's Word. Yes, so, so You had important. wonderful mentors in your life. Yes, now, did, your did. choice to demonstrate God's love by worshiping Him, by making Him the priority. Yes. Where, where did that lead in your life? Did it, Some people are afraid of how God's going to change their life if they get really serious. Yes, that's true. About that's, letting Him live. That's really scary, I must, must say. Did you stick with show business? 
Um, no, well, the, the Holy Spirit, I did for a while, but the Holy Spirit really prompted me that he wanted me to move on to other things, and that was the writing, and I, that was a, a love I always had. Uh, from the time I could hold a pencil, I was always writing stories and poems and, and essays, and just always writing was the way that um, I just naturally manifested, you know, the feelings that were in me and the thoughts that were in me and, the, you know, the desires and all of that. Um, but as I came to know the Lord, then He used that as the, my primary gift to, to help others receive Him and know Him and love Him and more. And, and understand his ways and all of that. So, um, and he moved me out of the show business thing. It was really clear. He was saying, I know I want you to lay this down. Time to lay this down. I know people are afraid of that, but he's not gonna have you lay something down and give you something terrible. He's not gonna give you scorpions and snakes. You know, I mean, he- As the scripture says. Yes, as the scripture says. Yes, he's, he's you know, he's got your good. In, in his mind at all times, your greatest good. And he's going to lead you where your greatest blessing is. And, that, and we all want that. You know, we don't have to be afraid of the Lord or the Holy Spirit working in our lives. He, he has a future and a hope for us and it's good. So someone watching has always believed in Jesus mm -hmm. and, and would say they love God. Yes. But are, you're, they're realizing that there's, there's more. There's more, And I've yes. been missing it. Yes. Would you lead in a simple prayer Stormy. Yes. Oh, I want, Let's want, make this an opportunity. I want to say that I have been there. I well, it wasn't until uh, not many years ago, really, that I really came to understand the depth of the love of God. And it really takes a heart committed. And Lord, we, we, I pray for everyone listening today who, who um, feels the same way as I did, that I want to know you more, Lord. We want to understand your love in greater measure, Father. We want to know the depth and the width of it, Lord God. And I pray, Father, that you would help us see your love for us in every part of your word. And every time we pray to you, Lord God, and every time we worship you, Father, every time we communicate with you, God, help us to understand your love, even in the everyday the struggles we have in our lives, Lord God, help us to understand the depth of your love, the unfailingness of your love, the unconditional love you have for us. God, we need that so much. Help us to express our love for you, Lord, so that we can become that great funnel into which you pour your greatness into us. Lord God, pour your love and peace and joy, all the things that you are, into us, Lord God, so that we can become more like you every day. In Jesus', Jesus name, amen. Amen. <laughs> oh, I'm glad we have two more wonderful slices with Stormy. And you know where we're going for our third challenge, and that is to love others in a way that pleases God. So getting our love tank filled. But as Stormy suggests, maybe you've sprung a leak in your love boat. <laughs> we're going to look at those potential leaks and how to re repair them. Exactly. Next visit. Yes. That's going to be so fun. <laughs> look forward to that.